So I want you guys to bear with us because this video is going to be going on both of our channels. But what's your channel name? Just Binks. Check me out. Makeup. Click it right there. Join the Binkster family. Yes. <laughs> so I'm switching it up for my page and we're going to be doing some makeup today. So many of you guys know that I don't know how to do makeup. So that's why we have the makeup <laughs> guru here that's going to be helping us with that. We're going to do some simple everyday makeup that'll fit busy moms like Vanya and just girls that want to do simple makeup like me nothing too extravagant but you can pull it off every day so. yeah guys so Bianca's gonna direct us and I'm going to take her lead we went shopping on Saturday was that Saturday yes Saturday yes Sunday Sunday last Sunday Sunday <laughs> and we went to the Nick store Nick's is not sponsoring this however if you would like to sponsor us in the hit future you know so we <laughs> hit Nick's to the T and we got everything that I would possibly need to do makeup every day. So I'm going to let her take the lead and don't laugh at me and I'm just going to follow. <laughs> okay, girls. So let's get started. Now, one thing I always start off with, I don't know about y'all, but my lips get dry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chapstick. Choose your favorite. It doesn't matter, but condition your lips. Cause if you're going to do a lip product, especially a matte one, mm -hmm. starting your lips off conditioning while you're working on everything else is going to really help with having those ready to go and not looking dry. So I don't know. Just... I don't have my... Mine is <laughs> over there somewhere. We'll pretend like she but it's more dry okay. so you also want to start with a clean canvas we've already washed our faces so we're good to go i'm going to moisturize do you have a moisturizer so i like the number seven this is by number seven <laughs> and got it's the fancy one beautiful skin but tell them about your vino i have the vino well it's off brand of vino but it's a vino um <laughs> it says it on there you know similar to a vino but it has a sunscreen in it so it's okay I think I want to do better with my moisturizing. I got it because it was expensive. <laughs> I was trying to watch my coins. Then that's always okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I mean, it's working. It's fine. My face doesn't get dry, so it has helped a lot. Yes, and so the benefit of moisturizing... I have oily skin, Vanya has dry skin naturally. So I always thought, well, my skin's gonna get oily throughout the day, so why would I add more under there? But mm -hmm. the production of oil is the lack of moisture. So your skin's overproducing, trying to moisturize your skin, mm -hmm. therefore you're getting oily. Didn't know that. So combat that by moisturizing. Always start with a clean canvas and then we're gonna moisturize. So I just take about that much, not, not too much. Oh my gosh, it's, I be putting so much on my face. That's, that's probably okay. why I be coming out looking, oh. And just work that into your skin. Your skin's gonna thank you Ooh. instantly. And I'm okay. So now that we've moisturized our skin, we're gonna prime it. So another additive that's gonna help your foundation look flawless, mm -hmm. help your skin be flawless so your foundation can look flawless is to prime your face. I'm using the NYX Shine Killer. I have oily skin, like I said, so I personally like a matte look. But Vanya is going to try a different approach. I like my skin to look oily. A little okay? luminous. So I got the Hydra Touch Oil Primer Touch Dehydration by NYX. So since you're kind of like not starting off new with makeup, but this is your first time trying like a full face, was mm -hmm. that intimidating? Because I've never used that kind. So No, it actually feels really good. Like, I rub it in, and it just feels so soft. And it's easy to use. Yes. Okay. So, yes. you don't have to be intimidated by the oil. Mm -mm. It's, yeah. So, we're going to... It's really easy. Um, so, I use about a dime size. If you can see it, it's clear. <laughs> okay. Well, you can see I'm probably, like, squirted all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to focus it in my areas that I get oily quicker. So, T-zone, Avi. And then just spread it out. All right, so now we're primed, we're ready to go. So we're gonna go in with foundation. Now, tool of choice. I use a beauty blender. I'm using a 
beauty blender. So one trick to help your uh, foundation go on smoother and to not waste your product is to wet your beauty blender. Which I had no idea because I have not been doing that. Yes, it is going to help and it, you'll see a tremendous difference. So it's all big, mine you know? is just with water. Um, a lot of people get fancy and use their MAC, you know, Studio Fix Spray or whatever. Some people get fancy and use actual product to do that. I just oh. use water and it's fine. Okay. So wet it good and wring it out and it's not like you don't see water dripping off of it, but it's wet. So. Okay. Um, shake your foundation a little bit. I am using the Fenty Beauty. Huh. Fancy. <laughs> That's for pros. This stuff, you guys, if you haven't tried it yet, it's like it's skin. Yet. It's literally like putting skin on your face. Um, so I would recommend it. I would highly recommend it. What What, what are we using today, Vanya? My $7 <laughs> mix. It's so good, though. Foundation. That stuff is so good. I used to use that. And that's actually, actually what like I started it. off with. It's good. It's yeah, a, yeah it's a demi matte. I like um, it. So we'll, so I just put about two pumps on the back of my hand, and it goes a long way. And I put it on the back of my hand because that a lot. That's perfect. That's, okay. that's plenty. And I actually probably have too much. But I do it on the back of my hand because this. I feel like the skin on the top of your hand doesn't really absorb product like your palm does. So anyway, so we're just gonna dab in there, and. Start yeah, on. so learning how to apply this is where I really am terrible at. Yeah. So I have my mirror here, guys. Okay. And I start on my cheeks because that's just, you know, we're going to put it all over our face, but that's the biggest part on my face that I need to cover. So you dab it in and you're just... Okay, so now that we have done our foundation, we've blended it out, I like to go in with my eyebrows because I use a powder and my eyebrows being a little wet from my foundation is gonna help it stick better. So what, what, what have you done in your week that you start off with? Okay, so I've never done my eyebrows until now and they got me the NYX Build Em Up Powder Brow Filler. So cool, I did not know they had that. Yeah, so it comes. The powder's in here, and it comes with a little stick where you can use it to maneuver. Mm -hmm. So, so, and I use NYX also, but it's just their standard, um, like dip two tone thing. Okay. So, and I'm using the taupe and ash. So we're gonna do our brows. He <laughs> don't laugh at me. I just got my eyebrows done today. So, <laughs> me too. That's about as much as I do is whatever. So and I, I, I'm already starting out bad. No, you're good. And we go in with another smaller mirror because I need to get right up in here and see the shape. So, so how do you be doing it? Like, do you be? Like, I start on the wing, digging it, or and just go with my natural shape, and I just thicken it out and extend it down. Um, and I just got mine done and they're way thinner than what I would like. So this is gonna be fun. To so I see girls like using concealers and yes. doing all that extra. Yeah. What do you say about that? Um, to me, it looks good on a lot of girls. I haven't been able to do it myself and not look crazy. <laughs> they use it to kind of clean it up and clean up the shape. And that's okay if you know how to do that or you know if that's your style. Okay, so brows are done. Now we're gonna go in and conceal the dark circles. I'm using NYX, what are you using? NYX HD Studio. NYX, you need to go ahead and sponsor. I mean, come right. on. Right! We just spent enough of our own money. <laughs> right! So you always wanna do with a concealer, you wanna go a couple shades up. Uh, that way you can brighten as well as conceal. So um, I don't know what color mine is. It's uh, Fair, CW02. Mine's a CW06.7 and I believe it was, hey, where's my name? The uh, scroll key, caramel. Scroll. I said scroll. Caramel. Okay, so um, the shape you wanna do under your eyes is you start with a line going down your nose, not, not really touching your nose, but just kind of like right there, if you guys can see me. And then you just fan it out. And it's okay, like you can't be too heavy. Well, you could be too heavy handed, but it's okay to just, you know, do a generous amount. Okay, and just keep going. I usually don't do this every day, um, but if you wanna do a dramatic or a super, you know, if you're doing an event or something like that, I would recommend it. Um, it just brightens you up some more. Okay. Oh, I've been doing it every day, I guess, because I've been practicing with makeup. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I seriously want to get into this like so hardcore 
where like my husband gives me a vanity and yes i'm like <laughs> knowing all the products and stuff but Upgrade i'm eyes. actually liking this so far okay so how do you use your is that, is that all because i see people like put it up here and here you can um you can do, do it that. yeah you can highlight in between your forehead and like right here under your bottom lip you're creating um just you're bringing out certain areas and then you're going to shadow in we're going to also do contour so that just helps bring certain areas up and then shadow some areas. Okay, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Yes. Uh, Sister Charles, <laughs> you've been my key in this. So um, I'm going to use my finger because I feel like sponges pull the product off of my face. And I've been sponging it. Yeah, so you're just going to blend that out um, however you feel comfortable. I'm using my index, my ring finger actually. So just lightly blend that up under your eye and blur out those harsh lines. The sponge has actually been... I did it with my hair. Okay, so now that we have that blended out, we need to set it. So um, we've been using a banana powder. I would highly recommend, or you can even go in with your standard powder color um, but I like to use something a little brighter also so what are you gonna use your powder NYX no filter sand filter finishing okay. powder wait and what do you oh you I don't have the banana powder you don't have that one. have you we been using that. that one I use this on the on the um, concealer part yes that's what so we're gonna set first I've been using oh mm -hmm. we're gonna set that first because we just it. laid oh. that oh, sure. okay so this is the three step three steps to sculpt so this is actually the same palette that I use for um, contouring. Mm -hmm. what, what what product do you use for this? Um, I would use, this. that's fine. You can use that. You can also, if you have a loose powder, you can still use your sponge, even if it's a little really? damp. Really? Mm -hmm. Pick it up like I'm a generous it. amount and just push it into your skin. Do not drag it. Push it in. I'm going to try that this time. All right. Okay, so push it in. Mm-hmm. Just like that? Yes, it's perfect. Pick up a generous amount. You can't do too much with this. I have the color correcting powder in banana, but mine is like scarce. It's, it's, it's gone. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome to use some of mine. I'm going to hit this corner. I have a little bit. Glad you told me that. Okay, so we've uh, set under our eyes. You put an extra amount and just let it sit there for a while while you're working on everything else. Okay, so I'm going in with the sand filter, the same one Vanya has. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what brush are you using? I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Number Two. That's the exact same brush I'm using, and it's ah, cool. really good for powder. So now, do you have to be like very gentle this with this, or um, how much powder do you put on there? I just you don't need a lot. Uh, you don't need a lot. You just need to set the um, the wetness of what's there from your foundation. And do you rub it in there or how do you do that? I'm doing a little bit of both. I'm not doing it very hard, but I'm patting and pressing and moving at the same time. So I'm dragging it across my skin, but not too hard. Do you go where your concealer powder is or no? Um, a little bit. We don't want to dust it away just yet. Okay. So let that sit, but you can go in a little bit up on it. Okay. So we have our powder on. Now we're going to go into eyeshadow. Um, I use the Urban Decay. You want to use a primer because that's going to help, number one, pull the color and the pigment out of your shadow. It's going to last on your eyelids all day. And then it's also not going to crease as easily. So depending on the one that you use. I really prefer the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I need to get so that. that's what I'm going to use. And you really only need less, like a small, small, small amount. I haven't used, I haven't. I... So Vane's going to give it a run today. And then I just put it in between my two fingers and then work this into your lid. Eyeshadow, simple, neutral colors. This is my everyday. The Love Contours All Palette. So that has contour and shadow. But the contour colors, you can use those as eyeshadow too and the highlights. The ones so. that I really use is this pink one, this one, 
black and this red. Okay. And sometimes this around my eyebrow. And mine is the NYX one too, but it's the Avant Pop palette. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been using this literally every day. So the colors that I use is I start off with this one on my lid. And then I'll do this brown in my crease first. And then I'll put a little bit of this black in the outer corner. Okay. And work that out. So we're just going to kind of go in and do our thing on what we do every day. And your brushes that you use? The brushes that I use um, for majority of my shadows is just a flat kind of brush. Um, and that's really good for packing color in on your lid. Okay. Um, when I want to blend it out, I'm going to use a bigger fluffy brush. Um, that's just to blend out those harsh lines and okay. really create a nice blended look. I only got two. Well, I have more brushes, but the ones that I've been using is this little flat brush to pack it on, and then, of course, this fluffy brush to blend it. Has that been helping you? It's been coming on good. Yeah. I don't really put that much eyeshadow on. Mm -hmm. um, I have been using this NYX Laund... Nope. Yeah. Oh, this, the cream. Yes, it's an eye tint. It's a lit NYX Laundry um, eye tint, and I've used that, and it's came out really cute. I haven't used actually. those. It looks like it's a nice color. It's really pretty. So, and I'll just clean my brushes in between um, if there's still some color sitting maybe from the That's other one. So just grab a towel and do that. All right. So, Once you get your black laid, if you feel like you've kind of gone too far, um, feel free to take up one of your take a brown color, the same color you've used down here, and you can soften it up some and really just uh, oh. you know blend it out more. So it's cool. Don't get nervous if you accidentally went too far. Now, if you just went, really went too far, you you might have to start over, which I've had to do, um, but it's not that bad. Meanwhile, I'm still baking. Okay, so. <laughs> So now my eyeshadow's done. So okay. um, you just want to take either just a bigger fluffy brush or the same one that you did your powder with initially and dust away the fallout from your eyeshadow and your uh, baking powder. Okay. She said baking powder. This is hilarious. <laughs> like we really sitting up here baking our faces like mm -hmm. it's a cream pie cake or something. And I never used to do it, and I tried it one time, and I was like, I see why they do this. Like, it, like what does it do? Like, It just brightens up your face. Now, I'm a little more brighter underneath my eyes. You see? It yeah. really just helps to bring out, it just wakes you up. It does. It really does. I need that because I'm not a morning person, and I got twins. <laughs> okay. So now that we have that, let's contour. Oh, da -da -da -da. not the best at this. Um, so Vanya is going to be using a powder, but, um, and that's, if you're beginning starting off, powder is going to be the easiest thing for you because you can control it better. I can't wait to go to cream though. I just started using cream and this is by NYX also. Y'all, everything is NYX. NYX I know. NYX, NYX. <laughs> this is the mineral, um, it's actually a foundation stick, but it's just, that I use it as a huge. contour. It's called Deep Honey, honey. Oh, okay. Come. Okay. And this is what that looks like. So it's a dark color. What do you mean foundation stick? People, this is like you could go in if, if this was your shade and like work it out with like a wet beauty blender that or something. That looks like a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Versus cool. just liquid. I have powder. So this is the color that I'm going to go dark with. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. So contouring, you want to find the hollows of your cheeks. I have big cheeks and... Even when I suck it in, you don't really see a dent anymore. So I just, I kind of start from where my, um, what is this? Your sideburn? Mm -hmm. Just where my sideburn is and just kind of create a line here and do the same on that side. And I'm using number 23 NYX brush mm -hmm. to do my contouring. But I think I'm going to start it out with my um, little bronzer thing that I got. How's that been going? So it's good. It is like illuminating. It? So it's an illuminating stick. And so I've just been putting that on there first. I just do this, and I do down my cheeks, and then I go back up. And so I just do that just a little bit. Nice. That's a pretty color. Thank you. Yeah. See, I need to set my life up. <laughs> 
We went. She got a bunch of stuff. For I didn't get free. anything. Yeah. I got this for free. So I hit my forehead. I do here. I don't do under here because I feel like it just changes. I, I do that because hopefully it gives me a, you know. And I'm going to do down my thing. nose. A, a chunk came off and that's not going to be good to blend out. Okay. So I go down my nose because I have a very flat nose and I just want to create Ooh, a too. bridge. But I don't know how to do all what you're doing. Okay. And I have her exact same brush. It's the number 23. It's a flat brush, so it helps, um, it just helps you get things done. So I'm gonna take this brush and blend all this out. Blend it, blend the line out. Oh. Kinda going in circular motions. Oh. I messed up. Okay. It's okay. We can fix it, we can fix it. It doesn't look messed up though. It's meant to be a little dark. It's a little too dark. This also helps give me like a sun-kissed tan, even though I'm definitely not tan right now. <laughs> You're going to be when we hit Florida. Yes, you guys, we're going on vacation in May, and it cannot get here quick enough. Cannot. Well, they're going to be there a lot longer than we are, so. <laughs> a little jelly there, but I really hope they enjoy themselves because if any one of you are in Florida, I love it there, and we go there every year, twice a year. Mm-hmm. ladies so now that we've contoured um we're gonna go with eyeshadow eyeshadow eyeliner liner i'm using eyeshadow for my liner because i have lashes on can't get that on there so eyeliner just kind of completes the look for me and pulls it all together and everyone has their preference some people can do it without pulling i can't do that i pull my eye i gotta pull it i'm sorry it might not be ethical but do it do it works like for you yes yeah, so So I'm going to be putting a highlighter on as she do that. I'm using the NYX Born to Glow. I really don't like it, but it's all I got right now. So mm -hmm. I decide what I like. And they have a little fan brush. NYX has a fan brush that is apparently it was new. And the brush is good, but I guess it's just the highlighter that just does not do it for me. Have you tried it with just your finger? Yes. Not like, still don't like it? Mm -mm, it looks powdery. This is the one I'm in... Oh, you know what though? It's actually looking pretty good right now. Is it popping today? It's still popping right today. So, that's honestly my everyday makeup, y'all. Um, if I wear makeup that day. That's my <laughs> easiest makeup look is to just kind of go in with those neutrals, a nice eyeliner, and call it a day. Man, I really appreciate you showing me how to do a lot of this stuff. You're doing a lip. I didn't do a lip. Let's mm. see. All I have right with me is a chapstick that has a little bit of a pink tone. Let's Gotta have a little Let's lip. rock that. This is the Birdseed Life, y'all. Okay, a little pink pink. Now, what I can say about NYX is I love their lipsticks. Yes. Like, they're I think... They're so inexpensive and they're worth it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that color is nice. And the lingerie one that I've been using every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. Okay, red lip. Lady in red. Gotta have a good red lip. Yes. Love it. Mine is just a little bit of a pink tone of a chapstick. I have a whole bag of like NYX. Lipstick? Or yes, no. by NYX. I have all only NYX except for one Urban Decay. Oh. And no, Kat Von D. Kat Von D. Ah. But it's like a purple lavender color. I mm -hmm. need to find the right the right fit for that. I don't know if I like this one. I like it. It's, it's a pretty dry. color. Is it? It might have. Oh, no. Matte velvet. Mm. See, I don't know about this. It might help to have maybe a chapstick under it. Uh huh. I like mine's real creamy. Yeah, it helps. So this is our finished look, guys. What do you think? Very simple, easy to do every day. Within 15 minutes, once you've been doing it, practice on the weekends. And if you're a mama of twins, you could do it too. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you for being on this channel. Thank you guys for having me. Please come by and see me at Just Binks. <laughs>